just wanted to sincerely appreciate you for coming over because I think it's a long journey and long I know journey. so I've just made the journey I know I mm -hmm. uh, wanted to ask you about what you thought I believe you actually wrote a piece yes. she was actually sharing it with you wanted, wanted me to share wanted me yes. to actually share with the uh, audience back home so just want to understand from you on what you thought of the project and what you saw what your experience mm -hmm. was etc I thought it was amazing again you know the ability to take a river that my understanding is the question came up about you know how you were allocating a wa water across India and knowing that just from my understood was that was, you're capturing a lot of the flood water you know to capture it store it and reuse it so you had an even water distribution across the year Absolutely. in order to raise the quality of life for the residents of Telangana I thought was uh, you know absolutely amazing and as a hydraulics engineer the idea of simply lifting that much water 500 meters is just blows my mind honestly to use an american expression that is a huge lift to do that and you know we went out and had a chance to um drive along and they took a tour on the um on one of the embankments of the of the of the big reservoir and to think that you constructed 16 kilometers of embankment a year and were able to begin to capture Great. all of that water and watching just seeing the the growth the the greenness the ability of, of to restore some of that landscape, so it was it was so supportive of the people in that area, and the thought about the you know knowing their agriculture, having agriculture, you're not expecting mm -hmm. them to shift into another industry, you are simply capturing them and helping them be good at what they are doing. I thought was amazing. I thought the whole project was engineeringly wise. It was mind blowing. It was amazing, and then just seeing the impact on the people. I if thought I, was if I might add on to what Shirley has <laughs> stated, and Shirley, of course. Being our president elect and, and also a civil engineer is offering a perspective from a technical point of view. My role in ASCE also is related to sustainability as the chief sustainability officer. And the perspective of the triple bottom line is really right. very important to all of the projects that we administer to from the financial, economic, and social point of view. And not only does the project achieve the finance, financial, and, and environmental goals, but specifically the integration of the social aspects of the project and changing the way that uh, that the water resources of Telegon are being used to advance the social environment is it is an extra check mark to the success of the project. So congratulations. Yes, I'm gonna to add to that that it wasn't as it wasn't as covered as well in your presentation, and I would hope to have a chance to ask the question just to, so that you could highlight it, was the investment you also made, knowing that how big the project is. The number of people it's going to displace that the minister had made it so that there was an investment in, in helping them relocate. Absolutely. And that is, you know, we know with these big engineering projects that there are people who are going to be negatively impacted. We're moving villages, we're asking people to relocate. You're putting places of history underwater for 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 people and their families. And the investment that was made, and we were hearing about that while we were over there, the investment that was made in trying to as best you can restore their lives mm -hmm. and giving them that opportunity, I thought was uh, was also incredible. And the relief and rehabilitation that went into this right. project, in fact, it became... It was a substantial relief. fraction. Absolutely. Absolutely. It became a substantial, a substantial fraction. But I think uh, you also have to understand, you know, uh, there's no quantum of uh, money that can actually yeah. uh, respect them for the kind of no. sacrifice they've made. Absolutely. Displacing, mm -hmm. getting displaced. Uh, is something that uh, you know you you'll not be able to quantify in in monetary terms. So I think our chief minister had that uh, yes, agenda to ensure that there. He did, and it was. Uh, um, so thank you so much, guys. And uh, can we get you to say on camera that you would be coming to India for IPWE in in twenty twenty five? Is it she? Yes. Hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking. I'm, I'm, I'm looking kidding. forward to it. Yeah. Well, and I also have to tell you, from my perspective, I think in the travels that I've done, not just in the U.S. but around the world, yeah. um, we really want to highlight game-changing projects like yes. this, especially in the sustainability space. Um, what you've been able to accomplish. Um, there's many areas of the world that can learn from that. Um, I can tell you that the, the first. Um, the first storm that hit Southern California this year mm -hmm. put 88 trillion gallons of water into the ocean because they didn't have a place to put it. Exactly. And they've been in this mm -hmm. horrible drought for the, mm -hmm. you know, for this, the past decade. And so again, thinking about what you have as tools and doing it different and shining a light on best practices around the world is really important for us. Absolutely. I think that's a great theme actually. 
floods, extremes, take that water, storage, again, then redistribute, make sure that all uh, inadequacies. Use the place. water cycle to our advantage. It's a global Absolutely. challenge to yeah, optimize the resources that we have available. Right. And to see Telegon make a four way, four way into that space mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is indeed going to be an example for others to follow. Thank you so much. And I was actually, I'm going to put on my educator hat. I am hoping that at some point the video that you showed mm -hmm. is available online because I would like to show it to it my students. It will be available in the next five minutes. It will be on Twitter. It will be on every one <laughs> well, of my social I'm thinking the video you showed with all the with the, with the project yeah, itself. Course, yes, that's the one. I will share it with Sri. Absolutely, because I would like to show it. I would like to put it. I would be happy to promote it, okay. but I also would like to show it to my students because oh, I'm no. teaching an open channel hydraulics class in the fall where oh. we will talk about lift stations and all of this. And I've, I went back after the visit and told my students the incredibleness and the size and my photographs. But of course I don't have drone footage. I don't have all of those that <laughs> yeah. you have that, and that whole, that whole integration of how the project was designed and pulled together. And, I'll, 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 sure share it. and I'll make sure this goes, we, we mm -hmm. actually have a department heads council meeting mm -hmm. um, for all the departments in the U S yes. uh -huh. civil engineering departments coming up in a few weeks. Okay. Um, and so that's a great place to share it as yes. well. And we'll put you on, on point for that to get them. That's curriculum fine. <laughs> Material. The hydraulic yes. engineers. Yes. Minister, yes. thank you for thank you so opening much, this Mike. story in 2017 yes. to our audience, letting us know of the plan, and now finally seeing it come to completion. Closing the loop. It's wonderful. And thank you for giving us a, thank you for giving us a chance to meet you also in India as well as here. Appreciate it. No, no, thank you for having me. So, Just wanted to thank having you. nothing to do with water. The fine cotton fabric manufactured in the state of Telangana uh -huh. is most beautiful. Oh, yeah. I can't yes. wait to see it again. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I have we taken, I have taken the the the, the, hand, the stole, the, the stole, yes, yeah, yeah. and it's people have told me, and I agree, how beautiful it is. It is incredibly colorful and beautiful. Yes, it is. Thank yeah. you so it's much. You Notice what I said. Shreya told us that it was made <laughs> yes, by some of your local artisans, yes. and yes. the fact that you're using that to also promote their work, I thought Absolutely. was just Absolutely. that that human connection is just wonderful. Thank you so much, guys. No, thank I you. really appreciate you having us. Yeah? Thank you for coming thank in. Thank you so much. And congratulations thank you. on being the president-elect. Thank you. Cheers. I'm looking forward to seeing you in 2025. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. <laughs>